And tonight, for the first time in Married at First Sight history, <laughs> one groom will get a second chance to say I do. You guys been here before? I know, right? Like, when I see her, I'll know immediately if, like, something is up. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. I'm, so I'm so nervous. Oh, my gosh. I'll be honest, I'm pretty scared. I can feel the nerves really starting to kick in because now I'm just playing in my head. What if she doesn't like what she sees? Okay, I'm gonna throw up. What are you doing? You guys nervous? <laughs> yeah, for her. My first wedding felt like the biggest personal failure that I've ever experienced. And having to face that again is super scary. I am freaking out right now. I can't breathe. This is Married at First Sight. Every day I seem to take another chance. Oh, I'm and my family. I think it's very excited. Uh, I love grandmas. We hope that Michael's not having any pre wedding jitters or his wife. Yeah. a lot of optimism that things are going to work out today. I know the first time around, you know, the first thing I saw was worry and concern, which, look, if that happens, I'm still prepared to be supportive. But if I'm standing up there and, you know, I see her friends and family worried and I see her bridesmaids come down with a look of confusion and and uh, concern, that, that'll probably be the first time I'll be like, oh, you know, it might, uh, things might get crazy. But other than that, I think we're I think we're set up for, for some some good things to happen today. Today is Chloe and Michael's wedding. And although standing at the altar and facing the unknown a second time is no doubt a scary thing to do. In another married at first sight first, the other couples who have stood exactly where Michael is standing will be there to support him. I'm really excited to be um, you know, a part of his special day. I know if He's probably freaking out. If he's feeling anything like how I was feeling on my wedding day, he's probably like, you know, panic mode. So if we can just be any sort of calming energy for him, remind him to breathe, it's going to be okay. Um, and yeah, I just want to be here to support him. And I think it'll be interesting to be on the other side of things. possible emotion. Emotions I didn't even know I could feel. <laughs> oh, my biggest hope for today is that I get to the end of that aisle and we just feel this excitement and joy and anticipation of really embarking on this journey together and uh, that he is as excited and committed as I am. You guys been here before? <laughs> I know, right? How's it going? You guys are veterans. He's, he's, he's the rookie. <laughs> Did Chloe do <laughs> Oh my god, I hope we like each other. <laughs> Cheers to your day. Mm -hmm. We are we are married at first sight veterans. <laughs> can't wait to meet him. I can't wait for you all to meet him. I think every relationship I've had, I loved them, but I we were never right for each other, and I think we knew that from the beginning. And this is like the first time that you guys are seeing me at this level of commitment. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wow. For me, as a recovering perfectionist, I didn't allow myself to have any flaws. And so in past relationships, I haven't been vulnerable. I haven't been raw. I haven't been as emotionally available as is required to have a really healthy, happy marriage. He's going to be so head over heels for you. Oh my gosh, I hope so. I can't wait to see his face when he sees you. And so I am...